What's up guys, this is Morpheus. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some gear and talents. I've shown my gear and talents in the past, but you guys have asked for it again, and some things have changed. So let's start with gear. This setup that I'm showing right now is pretty much what I run around with in the world. Um, there's a few things that change, but this is for the most part what I use. And so let's talk about it for, real quick. So first off, when I look for gear, the main stats that I'm looking for, I always think that these gloves are a perfect example because this is my most ideal gear. It's leather, it's got good stamina, it's got good intellect, it's got uh, you know damage for, for spells and healing, and then it's also got the crit on it. Now, Mana Ignited Cord is another example, very similar, same stats, it's just cloth, but other than that, the stats are good. I do run a lot of the T2.5, it's very good because it has a lot of base stats that can apply to healing, can apply to when I switch into you know, bear form and things like that, but also most importantly, again, if you look at these base stats, right, we've got stamina, we've got intellect, and we've got the uh, spell damage and healing along with some crit, which is really nice. Also the defense bonus I think is great, and the armor is great for when you switch into bear. Rings, you know, this is where I get my hit because you want to be able to be hit capped in PvP, which I believe is 5%. And uh, I'm not quite hit capped, I'm very close. I believe I sit at 3%, and sometimes I change some things around and get it up a little bit higher, but I generally sit at like 3 to 4%. Now, in terms of trinkets, trinkets, man, like. I've got a lot of trinkets. I switch my trinkets around a lot. Generally, though, in an ideal situation, I'm starting with like an insignia. I've got that on. And then a lot of times, I really like to have a shield up where I can absorb some damage because people hit really hard in Classic Era. And the thing about the Arena Grandmaster trinket is it's got that 30 minute cooldown, ideally, Burrower Shell. You know, this absorbs more damage, um, but the cooldown is long. So, Burrower Shell would be a little bit more ideal here. I do switch trinkets around, you know, if I know I'm going to be fighting someone, like let's say I'm fighting a lock, alright, we got shadow reflector, fighting a, you know, a frost mage, we got ice reflector, fire mage, we got fire reflector. I do, you'll see me use the hero trinket a lot, this is a good damage trinket, often if this is on cooldown, this is my next go-to trinket, this can be good for warriors and uh, rogues, I don't ever use this, but if you're feral it's good. Uh, this can be fun, you know, to have a pet fight with you. If all my trinkets are on cooldown, this is what I just throw on for some extra crit. Invisibility, don't use it often, but it's there. This, unfortunately, isn't very good for PvP. Alright, so, Idol of Moon, you know, it's decent, Moonfire. This is decent, it's not great, but it's what I've got. And the base stats are good. End of Dreams, um, pretty much Biss. The only thing that would be better than this would be, like, you know, ATS, but I really like him in End of Dreams, it's awesome. Um, as you can tell based on the stats. Not great, but it's what I got. Uh, Biss Tabard, you know, exalted with, with Warsong Gulch. That's what we gotta, let's see, let's check it out. Exalted, exalted, and as you can see, I'm not one of those people that just runs AV all the time. All right, so I switch this out quite often, I will say. So this is what I'll throw on um, because it's just got a lot more spell damage and it's got a lot of stamina on it. If I know I'm fighting someone who's like a, a cloth gear, like a caster, I'll throw this on. If I'm fighting a melee, I'll throw on the Genesis. And actually, same here with the Mad Ignited Core. I should mention that uh, I will switch over to this sometimes if I know I'm fighting a melee. This is just for some more uh, hit. There are better cloaks out there. This is just what I have. Uh, pretty stoked on this. Got this recently, but also very good stats. When I look at that, that's exactly the kind of stats that I want to see. Helm. So I've talked about this in videos previously. I always keep Rocket Helm on unless it's on cooldown. Uh, it'll save your life. It's one of those things you sacrifice stats for utility, and often utility is way better than stats when it comes down to it in PvP. So Rocket Helm until it's on cooldown. When it is on cooldown, now I've got the uh, T2.5 Helm. I need to throw the Idol on it to boost it up, but this is what I got right now. For a long time, I was repping the T1 Scenarian Helm just because really big base stats. Okay, so that's gear. Let's jump into talents. My talents have changed around a little bit, you know, over time. Um, but let's see what we got. So for balance, you know, this is this is where things change. Feral and Resto, it's the same every time. Balance, I change things up. So let's talk about let's actually let's just talk about Feral and Resto first, and then we can go into balance. So Feral, what I'm going for is Feral Charge, and to get there, I need ten points. 
So I think this is pretty good. I don't use Demo Shout as much as I should, but it, it's there. And um, increased armor is good. I'm just trying to get enough points. This is really good. I really like the increase on um, both Bash and Pounce. You will feel that. Um, having that increased is really good. The Feral Charge is awesome. You know, you use it to interrupt casters. Very good. You can also use it to connect. And in terms of like Warsong Gulch, it's fantastic for like peeling. So really good there. When we get into Resto, you know, I'm just trying to get some points in here. I will say this is pretty good because I really like the moment I shift into bear, boom, I can feral charge, boom, I can uh, bash. I don't have to worry about generating rage or connecting. I can just already have that rage. This is really good. Um, same here, this kind of instant to generate rage. Um, I think this is good. You know, when people are on top of me, often what I'll go for is a regrowth, specifically because I know they can't do the knockback. And if you're low on mana, you could go into a low rank healing touch, um, which I don't do very often, but you totally can. Um, insect Swarm is very good. You will get a decent amount of damage out of your Insect Swarm because of all your spell gear. And uh, the improved Rejuve is really good because if you're doing PvP right, Rejuve is up most of the time. And then really what we're going for here is the nature swiftness. This is, in my opinion, the single best spell that druids have in vanilla. The fact that you can instantly cast your next nature spell. So you'll see me do this often. Um, it's almost like a lay on hands in this way. You know, you'll see me nature swiftness, healing touch, max rank. So boom, if I crit, it's a full, you know, I can crit a 4,700 with a max rank healing touch. So it's a full heal. Um, if you're doing, you know, worse on gold, you can Nature Swiftness hibernate the flag carrier. Hibernate goes through a fap, so that can be really big. Um, and you can Nature Swiftness root. I don't do that, but you can. So there's Nature Swiftness wrath. You know, there, there's other things you can do, but generally I save it for a Nature Swiftness max rank healing touch for a full heal, basically using it as lay on hands. Now let's get back into balance. This is where I change some things. Like I go back and forth on this setup, but this is what I have right now. So Wrath, like yes, you want to improve Wrath. You're going to be using that a lot. That's your main like casting damage. So I think this is really good. People argue with me on this. Honestly, this is Nature's Grasp is where people really argue with me. But I, I really like Nature's Grasp. Like it just gives me that comfort because I'm squishy. So if melee are on me, I like the comfort of knowing I have an alternative to get them in a route. Also, if you're doing like a 1v2, you know, or if they have a pet, there's a lot of things you can do for Nature's Grasp. It, it can be very helpful here. In the past, I've bumped it up. Currently, I don't because I need the points, but in the past, I've bumped it up. I always think this is really good. I mean, avoiding the knockback or like interrupts on route is really big. Like this is really big for PvP. Just getting some damage. This is where I change things around. So I kind of bounce back between these two. Right now, mana has been a big issue for me, so I've got some points in here to reduce, you know, a little bit. It's not a lot. Ideally, I would like to have three points here. In the past, I've had three points here, and I've sacrificed Starfire, but but right now I've got one point in it. This is just for some damage at this point. We're really, like, scrounging for points. And then the improved Starfire. So the reason I did this is because, first off, the stun is really big. You know, if you do get that stun off, like, that's awesome. Um, and Starfire has such a long cast time, like it's hard to cast, but if you don't put points into here, I mean, I literally wasn't using Starfire. Like I could have, without points in here, I could have just taken Starfire off my, off my keybinds. And so I wanted to be able to use it when it does proc, it's a big deal. And, uh, you know, for style points, if you get a nice crit, I think it can be good. Really, if you're looking to change things around, I would say it's between these three. These are the three that I bounce back and forth to like where to put those last few points. I would love to have more points here, but we just don't have that many points with this setup. But the hybrid setup, I truly think, is the ultimate setup for PvP. You have a lot of utility here. You have a this, you know, all of a sudden, boom, max rank healing touch. You have Insect Swarm, which is great. You can generate some rage right when you shift, so you can go straight into a bash or charge. Reduce knockbacks. Increase to rejuve, really big. Feral Charge is great, Increase Bash, and then Balance, there you've got some damage. So this is the weird hybrid setup I run. People run some kind of similar setups, but they change some things around. This is what I like. Um, I used to go Deep Balance, I used to go Moon Conform. The truth is, it's I just do not think it is good enough for, for PvP for what I do. If you want to go Deep Balance, 
what I think you should do, and this is kind of like there's certain druids on our server that run this setup. I think personally the best thing you can do here is just full on PVE gear, full on max out your crit and your hit, and you're going to be popping a big DPS trinket and you're going for starfire crits. Like if you're using moon conform, you're trying to KO people with starfire crits. That's that's the move that you're going for. And um, that can be fun, but I think this is much more versatile. I can go up against any class and I have a lot more survivability. And um, yeah, so this is what I run. So there's my gear and there's my talents. I hope that's helpful. If you guys run different setups, if you guys have suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm always happy to hear what you guys are running. I think it's really interesting. And I should also mention, this is not the most ideal gear setup. Like there's a lot of gear I would like to have. This is just what I do actually have and this is what I do run. Um, if I could, man, I would probably be replacing about half of this stuff with Nax gear. Uh, but this is what I got and I it, it works. You know, it's one of those things like, the min maxing of classic era could i get some more gear and do some more damage yes but the amount of time to do that and effort to get that nax gear i don't think is worth it i rather spend that time just pvping i feel like with the gear that i have it's enough i can i can do what i want currently so yeah this is what i'm running guys i hope this was helpful uh if it was let me know in the comments below make sure to like and subscribe and always thank you so much for watching the videos you guys have a great rest of your day Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, check out the channel. Got lots of Druid PvP content from Classic Era, Seasons of Discovery, TBC, and Wrath of Lich King. Thanks for watching and have a great day.